For over 20 years, he's been under Howard Stern's thumb. Scott, if I retire now, where will you be? <laughs> On the unemployment line. Right. Else? You're my greatest fear. I, why would I be your fear? Because I worry that what do I do if I leave? How are you going to make a living? I'm sure I'll find something to do. Where? What are you going to find? I, I, I... But now, Scott Salem, known to Stern's fans as Scott the Engineer, is striking out on his own. Scott will compete in the PBA's World Series of Bowling this month, and this 200 average league bowler has come to the International Training and Research Center for help. So I just arrived and I had a tour of the uh, training facility here at the USBC. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I mean, I can't believe what they actually do here. Uh, you, you never think about it when you bowl. The, the science that goes into it. Everything's laid out for me so I can practice in the conditions I'm going to be in on a tournament. It doesn't mean going to help me. <laughs> no, it's, it's going to help me a lot, and I can't wait to get this thing going. After getting into shape, it was off to the lanes for some serious coaching. That's where the end of the pattern is, basically right here, and that's where the pins are. So there's not much room for your ball to hook. So if your ball is outside of here, you know, it's, you know, if your ball is coming out of the pattern here, there's no way it's making it that far. All the while with Howard Stern's encouraging words. Do you have a special shirt you wear and no, pants? No, no, no shirt, no pants. And you have the shoes with the numbers on them? No. What do you mean? My own shoes. My own shoes. Own you own your own bowling shoes? Yeah. Um, oh. Neither myself or Brian were, we were familiar with, with Scott, so we were a little bit unsure kind of his skill level. And I think after these two days, he has uh, made some great improvements. He's going to be very, very prepared to go out there and be some of the, the things that we've given him wow. to work on, I, I, I know that he can master and he's going to have a great time at the World Series of Bowling. Things are going good so far. Um, he's you know, really listening to some of the things that we have to say for him to get better in his physical game. And uh, he's going to learn a lot more in terms of lane play and ball motion about how to attack each pattern. And uh, you know, hopefully it carries over to good shots when he's uh, bowling against the best in the world. Before he heads to Las Vegas, a world-class challenge, taking on Team USA member Emily Mayer. Oh yeah, no sweat, no problem. I'm good. We're taking the beauty down. She's in for a surprise. She thinks she's gonna kick my ass. Not happening. Well, she might, but. The match begins and Scott puts up a pretty good fight. Putting his new knowledge to good use, but in the end, Emily is just too much for him. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm gonna. Thank you. I'm gonna try hard. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So Scott may not be ready to beat the best of the best just yet, but everyone seems confident that he can cultivate what he learned in Arlington. He's worked his butt off, which was great. I mean, we didn't. He didn't have any idea kind of his caliber or his work ethic and I, like Brian said, I don't think we've had anybody in here that's worked harder than him. My experience here at USBC has been unbelievable. Coaches Brian and Kim have taught me everything, hopefully, that I need to know when I go into the World Series of Bowling. Um, a lot of things they suggested that I change and I'll try and do that and I'll get that with practice and um, really I'm confident that I can do well in the World Series of Bowling. After the coaching I received here, I have to do well. Well enough for Howard to give him a break? How many times a week do you go bowling? I only go once. Oh, enough to have my own shoes. Well, let's not hold our breath. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV.